It's been three months since I made the video talking about Top of Guild, and everybody loved it. Top of the food waste, the guild himself even commented on the video, best video yet, wishing all the best. Thank you, Top of. But let's get serious for a second, because we have an update. For a content creator, their biggest fear is getting canceled. People are scared of talking, bro. They're yeah. scared. One in four Americans fear cancel culture could risk their job or education, new study finds. Getting criticized by the media and by your peers will get almost anyone to change. Logan Paul filmed a dead body and went on an apology tour. And I don't expect to be forgiven. David Dobrik got canceled and quit vlogging. I'm learning, maybe even forgiveness is possible. In some situations, getting canceled is the push a creator needs to do better. And this seems to be the case with Topper Guild. The biggest food waster on TikTok has been seen recently doing some charitable things giving away food to the homeless, or so it would seem. Because upon further review, it seems like this is just another Top of Guild publicity stunt. But let's start from the beginning. Man! I'm the original food waster guy. Man! Oh, it's one of these guys, eh? Eat up! Sticky floor! Well, what the hell's wrong with you? If you find this funny, unfollow me. I've seen all of the comments about people concerned about me wasting food. Again, it was sorry for me to not address this before, but I, I think it was very important that I address this now. One year ago, I made a video called TikTokers are wasting food for views. The premise of the video was exposing the creators that waste food for a 15 second clip. I hate people that waste food. Why do you have to waste food on TikTok? It's like the more food you waste, the more views it gets. In this video, I highlighted two creators on TikTok. The first one was Basil. Basil has 8 million followers and he was one of the originators of the food wasting trend back in in 2021. Ice cream, chocolate syrup, sprinklers. Perfect. This video in particular has 122 million views. Like I'm the guy, I'm the original food waster guy. Like I, I, I can't believe I get to say that. Like. I mean, it's, it's not like my proudest moment, but I'm just saying like, I I'm the guy. Well, Wasil got so much hate in other TikTokers videos and in the comment sections. And who cleans all of that? Is it you? You wipe the countertop, scrub it hard, I presume. And all that on the floor, do you get on your hands and knees on all fours and wipe endlessly? Popping! Bro, you need to stop wasting cereal! Food waste is real. Up! Stained countertop! Well, what the hell's wrong with you? If you find this funny, unfollow me. Literally unfollow me. Like, what was the point of that? Oh my god, that's so funny. Like, I get it. Like, he used more than one normally would when actually cleaning something. Like, that's so funny. That's humor. That now his channel is converted to either making fun of his former self or trying to do TikTok hacks. A complete 180 from his previous content. Chocolate syrup! Chocolate syrup! Sprinkler! Sprinkler! He even made an apology last year on his YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me up on TikTok, most of my videos consist of me being very dramatic with using excess amounts of food, spilling things, breaking things, and just being very over the top with anything that I do. In the beginning, this started off on a very small scale with only a few thousand people following me, and this was just something fun that I could do in my free time. But now I realize that I have a very big audience and anything that I can record on camera can have consequences as far as uh, the messaging that I'm putting out there. Tabakir was the second person that I highlighted in my video from one year ago because he used to copy with Sil's style of wasting food and he even copied it down to the accent. Mel! Mel! Dinner! Dreamer! One pound sugar! One pound of sugar! Perfect. But unlike Wasil, who got so much hate, he decided to change his content. Topper Gil continued doing the same thing, and then he started mimicking Wasil by reacting to his old content and improving it. I sing girls, spring girls. But I wasn't paying attention when he was making this sort of content until recently, when I found this on my subreddit, Topper Gil's typical vlog channel now. And it was a video of Topper Guild, instead of wasting food, actually making food and feeding it to the homeless. So I went to his TikTok and I saw that he did it a second time. 
and here even a third time 12 hours ago. After a year, there's signs of improvement in Topper. The comments are extremely positive. But then someone pointed out to me he wasn't doing this out of the goodness of his heart. These Feed in the Homeless videos have 3 million, 12 million, and 8 million views. But once again, this is an idea that he took from somebody else. Topper Guild is known for three things. Making cringe content, wasting food, and stealing people's video ideas. This is Topper's video on the left, and on the right is another TikToker named Milad. Milad is a content creator with 6 million followers on TikTok and his mission statement is to make the world a better place. He's been making videos since he was 8 years old but he didn't rise to fame until the pandemic when he started to film behind the scenes of his job at Subway. And now he posts content feeding those in need. 28 million views, 7 million views, 40 million views. And now Topper has taken that blueprint and created the exact same video even down to the music. Bro straight copied every move Milad done in his vid. This is the exact same video Milad did. Here's a video Milad made making fun of Topper Guild's girlfriend, then giving away hot dogs. And another video poking fun of a Canadian TikTok channel, then handing out burgers. He's always showcasing the food races and helping those in need without exploiting them in the video. On the one hand, even though Topper Guild is copying Milad, he's doing something good, he's helping the homeless. But it seems like he's really fabricating a redemption arc for himself by pretending he came up with these ideas on his own and that he's changed. Even people in the comments, respect, finally switch teams. It's good you change. How do people think that he's changed when five videos before this, he was doing this? Oh my. What? Go. He made this on November 1st. But that's all I wanted to talk about today. But what do you think? Is it not a bad thing that Topper Guild is pretending to have changed if he's still helping out those in need? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Also, follow me over on Twitch. I did all the research for this video while I was streaming live on twitch.tv forward slash the Asher Show. World's Strongest Man versus Armored School Bus 10 days ago. 11 months ago, Brianna did this. These are his fans. I can't even deal with this guy anymore. He just gives me so much cringe. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, if you're new and I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Oh, it's good. He still has time to do fake prank. Not too much has changed.